Hi there, my name is Gary Borman. I'm a qualified naturopath, nutritionist and herbalist and I practice at a clinic called Feeling Great Naturally down in Cleveland. Today I'd just like to give you a little bit of information on fibre. Now fibre is something that you hear a lot about in the press and you, know, you should take your fibre supplements and stuff like that. So thought, why is this important? Well primarily fibre is what feeds our gut flora and you might have heard that we're more bacteria than we are human. So we've got you know, 100 trillion is uh, one of the estimates of the amount of bacteria that is in our gut and they're supposed to be in there. So they like to feed on fibre and by keeping that gut health uh, in a good balance we uh, will assimilate more nutrients because those bacteria can actually make some nutrients for us. So um, quite clever as far as that symbiotic relationship goes. But the other big one with fibre is all about bowel health and keeping us regular. Uh, bowel cancer is something um, that we need to be quite aware of because the modern diet doesn't have anywhere near the fibre as the one of even two generations back. So by making sure we've got lots of this nice soluble fibre, so think green leafies, we're giving ourselves good gut health and we're having this nice um, soft amount of fibre going through. Think of it like a nice soft broom cleaning out stuff that's not supposed to be there and just drawing it out and having good gut health. So basically lots of fibre in your diet is exactly what you need to stay well and have a healthy aging life. So if there's more that you'd like to know on fibre gut health or just how to age well go on to www.feelinggreat.com.au there is an online calendar there and uh, book a time come and see me we can go through that and make sure that you do age well. So until next time, stay well. Hi there, my name's Gary Borman. I am a qualified naturopath, nutritionist and herbalist and I work at a clinic called Feeling Great Naturally down in Cleveland in southeast of Brisbane. Today I'd like to give you a little bit of information about digestion. The digestive system is the key to optimal health. Uh, if we go back a couple of thousand years, Hippocrates, the, the founder of modern medicine as he's known, he said all diseases start in the gut. So good digestive health is critical to overall good health. And you could take this a step further by we're not really what we eat, we are what we absorb. So having a good digestive system means we're going to absorb all of those nutrients and that way we can maintain optimal health. Now there's a few things that can get in the way of that. As we age in particular we produce less stomach acid so we tend to have a lower level of digestion and this can impact on absorption of things like vitamin B12, iron, calcium, magnesium, you know, just to say a few. So we do need to look after our digestive health to the absolute best way possible as we get older. So some of that is trying to avoid stuff like antibiotics as, as much as humanly possible because I could ask you right now, you know, did you have your daily dose of antibiotics today? And most people go, absolutely no way. But 70% of the world's antibiotics are used in the food raising industry. So in particular, we think of that with, with chickens and beef but Roundup is actually registered as an antibacterial so it actually damaged the bacteria that's in the soil so that way um, our Roundup ready crops for instance they actually have an antibacterial resistance so it's pretty nasty sort of stuff that we consume on a regular basis and we're not even aware of that so making sure that we take lots of probiotics can definitely help with that, uh, that gut balance and digestive health and the other one is making sure we've got good, strong stomach acid. A lot of people are on acids, uh, digestive acid inhibitors, so proton pump inhibitors, H2 blockers, uh, the, the common classes of drug that people use. Whilst these can help with some of the symptoms of reflux, they do have a big impact on your ability to absorb key nutrients. And that's a big thing. So without getting uh, too much into it right now, if you are taking these drugs, they are designed for short term use only. If you do have a need for them long term, there is something else going on. Uh, indeed, if we look back to the, uh, 
US Food and Drug Administration recommendations going back to as far as 2010. These style drugs were recommended for no more than three 14 day courses per year. And I've seen people who are routinely on them for several years at a time. So in summary, if you've got some digestive issues and you need to get on top of those, I'd recommend come and see me, jump onto the website, feelinggreat.com.au. We've got an online calendar you can book in and come and see me and we'll be able to go through any concerns that you might have. If you just would like a little bit more information, um, just touching your toes in the water at present, Facebook, Feeling Great Naturally, and uh, we put up a little video log every week called The Health Hub, so that might give you a little bit more info as well. So until next time, stay well.